Hi. One of the big complaints about Glock pistols is the lengthy pre-travel. What I'm going to show in this video is how I've dealt with that issue. Let's have a safety check on the gun. That's clear. There we go. So, if you take a look at the Glock pistol, if you write the slide, and you let the trigger go back to reset, there will be a small click. Right there is when the gun is ready to fire again. So, let's see that one more time. Like the slide, right there. So, what you want to do in order to cut down on the pre-travel is to mark exactly this point right here. So that you can reproduce where the trigger will be at the point in time where it's traveled far enough back to squeeze off another round. So I did that with a piece of duct tape. So as I had the trigger at the right position, I just put a piece of duct tape right there. Let's go inside the gun now. As I was able to reproduce where the trigger bar was at a point in time where it came into the position where I was able to squeeze another that round, I can mark that trigger bar exactly with a small notch or a piece of plastic which makes part of the trigger right there. So now I was able to reproduce exactly all the way through when the trigger would be when the gun had come to a position where I could squeeze the trigger off and squeeze off another round. With this now, I was able to say, good, okay, how far do, does, does this trigger bar actually have to travel? And I put in a screw right there. You can see it right there. Let me see if we can get a little bit closer. Right there's a screw right there. So this means now that the trigger bar will only travel only as far as I need it before the trigger is now able to squeeze off another round, right there. So as you can see, I fixed the pre-travel just by simply putting a screw in there. The bad thing about this method is you have to be really sure about your measurements. Because if you get this position wrong, there is not a second chance for doing this. Because you are drilling the screw right into the plastic of the receiver. So measuring properly where the trigger is, find that position on where the trigger bar is on the trigger. And thereby you can do exactly where you should put the screw. By putting it there, you will then be able to reduce the pre-travel of the Glock trigger right there. You might say you could also do it up here in front. That's another possibility you have. So you might have two shots at it, but then that's it. If you fail, uh, the only option you got then is to take the screw out and then uh, the trigger will be as it came from, from the factory. So as you can see now, uh, with this little operation, which was fairly simple, I've been able to reduce now the trigger travel to about 6 millimeters, which is from right here to there. There we go. So again, it's just a matter of getting the measurements right, and then you can, with a very simple operation, put the screw right there in the receiver, where it will prevent the trigger bar from traveling further than necessary.